I'm back. So, um, something I had noticed while I was trying to make sure that everything looked right was that they have the wrong character on the opening, even. I definitely didn't notice that before when I first started playing Nuzlocke Force 2. Uh, yeah. Hmm. You know, I should probably have a logo that has the, above me, the Shining Force 2 logo. Should probably be, like, crossed out with Nuzlocke Force 2. I want to say I did that at one point. Didn't I? Hmm. Let me take a look one moment. Uh, let's see. I found all of my recovery, at least, which is good. So, part of the reason why this took so long is that I actually had a, um... I have a new install of Windows on this computer, and one of the things that I lost was all of the settings from OBS, because OBS changed everything. Basically, product lines. Um, let's see. Personal, live streams, run one. There we go, let's play Nuzlocke Force 2. Do I have that? I do have that. Let's go ahead and add that in while I'm playing the opening intro thing. Because I can. I've got plenty of time. Um, I'll probably put in like a skip to X amount of time sitting in the description if you want to skip that. Uh, let's see. This is the logo. Go ahead and add in image. Click your image. Just there. Yep, it's huge. Give me a moment. I can put that down here. And I think that's probably good. Go ahead and lock it. Alright, so let's actually get this party started. I actually have no idea which saves these are. I'm just gonna load the, uh... Whatchamacallit, save state. Give me just a moment. Okay, so... Um, to answer some of the questions, because of how long it's been since I've continued this, no, I have not, in fact, uh, gone through and lost or anything like that and decided not to show it. I have only played, I played this, let's see, it was about a week ago, I think it was last Sunday, um, just making sure my settings were correct. So all I ended up doing was walking over to the battle, fighting once, and then immediately ending the game. Didn't even egress or anything, so this is exactly where things left off. Let's, um, let's go ahead and go back through our party, because I don't remember much. So, Bowie's a bird brain, um... As per usual, bird brains are very weak defense-wise, although in this case, Bowie's defense is actually fairly good. Sarah's a thief, also with high defense, although very low agility given that she's a thief. Ah, whatever game. Um, Chester's a ranger, so we've got our centaur archer. Very appropriate for the centaur to be a centaur archer. Uh, remember, this is Archer Force 2 after all, so Jaha is a mage. Um, Jaha is not doing so great in the... Uh, almost as bad as Chester. Chester's defense is abysmal. I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Um, Jaha is a mage. Has blaze and freeze so far, so... Appears to be... Somewhat similar in magic to... Uh, who was that? Um, Tyrin? Wow, it's been so long I can't remember all the character names. This is bad. Uh, Kazin's an archer. Uh, Kazin has somewhat low defense, but again, archer. Slade's an archer. Slade has fairly high defense for an archer. And also fairly high attack. So I have a hunch that Chester's the archer that has attack focused. Slade's the archer that has defense focused. And I don't know about Kazin. And then we have Kiwi, who's a priest and also has Blast. Ugh, Blast, ew. Uh, on the plus side, Kiwi actually has decently high defense, 
Um, not as high as Bowie and Sarah right now, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and figure out items everywhere. I am very full on items. Um, I should probably use the power water now. So I'm going to do that on Bowie. Because Bowie's going to be around with us the entire time, no matter what. And Bowie's a bird brain. Oh, I forgot. I have it on. Yeah. Um, as you can hear from the keyboard saying, I am still playing with the keyboard, because this is actually the way I prefer playing Draining Force 2. It's kind of strange, but, you know, it's the way I am. Uh, this is not being live streamed for reference. This is just recorded. I didn't feel like setting up a stream in this case. Not to mention, it's early enough in the morning where... I'd have one viewer. So let's go ahead and... Oh, only boosted by two. Uh, oh well. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we've got... Medical Herbs, Medical Herbs, Angel Wing. That's good to know. Quick Chicken. Um, I'm not going to use the Quick Chicken yet. We might need it on Chester if we decide that Chester's going to be the one that I keep. Uh, healing, another Angel Wing. Really wish I had some healing to give, but what I think I'll end up doing is giving the angel wing over to Huey. So, um, there's not much I can do at this particular point. I can save, which I'm going to do right now. So, I'm a little concerned with the way this party is shaping out, is that I'm not going to be able to maintain the Nuzlocke part. I haven't had any deaths yet, but... Basically, everything over in the Grand Seal area is effectively the tutorial of this game. Uh, this is the this battle is the first difficulty spike in the game. Uh, it's not much of a difficulty spike. It's nowhere near as nasty as the ones a little bit later on. But, well, let's head over there and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So, I'm gonna drop the volume on my side a bit. So, we've got this green ooze here. And this green ooze has an attack of 27. Keep in mind, Bowie's my highest attack character with an attack of 21. I am underleveled at this point. Um, I have the same attack power, so my best character has the same attack power as a witch. So I'm probably going to have to grind a little bit, which is typical. This is usually the point in the game where you need to grind. The hunter goblin is the one I'm the most concerned about. The reason being is that fighting an archer, which, mind you, this is basically the first set of archers I'm fighting, is already annoying, and the fact that they have 24 attack versus Chester's 9 defense, I'm going to be hit for a lot. That would be uh, 15 plus a die of damage, because there's a little bit of randomness going on. He only has 17 hit points, so yeah, I'd rather not... Goblins are 26, and I think that's it. If I remember correctly, either this witch... No, I think it's actually this goblin's the boss of this map. <sighs> um, yeah. So what I'm going to end up doing is grinding for a little bit. This is also the reason why I wasn't going to live stream this, because I'm just grinding. I'm also going to be very heavily using terrain effects. Bowie's a bird brain, I need to remember that. Johanna's the mage. Sarah's a thief, even though she looks promoted. So, the reason why the character portraits aren't accurate is because of Sarah. So, Sarah's a thief. What this means... Oh, so, Sarah's a thief and uh, Chester's a ranger. So, the reason why this messes up is that Chester being a ranger means that he doesn't have a promoted class. He... or a secondary promoted class. So... Normally, Chester, being a knight, has the option of even go, uh, either going Paladin or um, Pegasus Knight. As a result, because there's only one class, everything got bumped up by one. And then with Thief, Sarah, again, not having a promotion, even though Sarah, normally being a priest, would have Vicar or Master Monk. Thief Sarah means that I only... I lost the second one. That's the reason why Slade looks like Kazin. Kazin looks like Kazin. Kiwi looks like Slade. Jaha at least looks like Jaha. So yeah, there's it's a bit messed up. 
And if I really wanted to, I could probably, um, which I'll edit it, but I don't want to see the other characters, and by fixing this problem, I would probably end up doing that. Okay. Sarah damaged by five. I can deal with that. I might be in range of the ooze. It's the one thing I'm not sure about. I want to be attacked twice right now. Let's go ahead and get some XP on. My intent is to level up until about level 10 or so. I am definitely underleveled. I mean, Archer's being level 8 at this point, that's not good. Uh, rule of thumb, if I remember correctly, is that you should be um, one level... Or you should be the same level as the number of battles that you've been in. Slade's gonna finish her off? Nope. He's gonna finish her off. Oh, this might be dangerous, but. Funk. Hmm. Doing five to him. Interesting. And that sounded like a notification. My phone is in my pocket. Okay. So, right now, I could go fly over and attack that ooze, and I'm not going to do that because that's a dumb idea. Here's why. Bowie doesn't have terrain advantage, because Bowie's bird brain. Kind of makes sense if you think about it. You're flying. You're not really going to be able to take advantage of the terrain that you're sitting in. Uh, so, as a result, he's practically defenseless. Uh, might be a good reason to use Quick Chicken. Oh, Quick Chicken's agility, that's right. Um, this goblin has a movement of five. One, two, three, four, five. I would be attacked by both the Goblin and the Ooze, and that's not good. I want to use Bowie more as the run-in snipe. Also, Bowie's the highest level of this group right now, isn't he? Um, Jaha's the same level. And Sarah. Okay. Actually tempted to just heal, but I don't have access to buy more healing items is the problem. I know you got hit for five. You should be okay. You can only get attacked by one more creature. I'll have Bowie over there. Jaha, I need you to be there. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. Now I can go over here and stabity stab because I shouldn't be. Harmed. I'm gonna go up to here because that's Kiwi, so I'm definitely within range of a heal if I need it. Yeah, I'm getting way too much XP for just attacks. Oh, that was probably a bad move, it just dawned on me. Okay, I might need to egress right now. Okay. You are going to heal Sarah. Hmm. So here's the problem. Chester has nine defense. That's basically the entire problem. But if I don't attack... Then the Green News is going to... Hey, right, Green News and the Goblin will attack. The Green News actually has a higher attack. So I'm going to do that. This is a, probably a bad idea. I'm babbling intentionally, by the way, because there's nobody else to go join me. All right, Chester leveled up. Please have it... Okay, there's a defense increase. I think I'm going to be okay. It's not going to be great. <sighs> Slade's the one with the highest defense. Defense. I might as well pile on. I'm gonna get attacked anyway, so what difference does it make as to which one gets attacked? Kiwi is going to end up getting attacked by an archer. See, now I will fly in. Now that there's only one of them. Quick 
could finish it off with a mage. So, your movement is five, but if I remember right, you move in forest with no problem. Two, three, four. Yeah, you only need four movement to attack Kiwi. So, I'm gonna do this. Level 10. Do you have a new spell? No. Okay. Alright. Um, I want you to actually stay put. But he's doing okay. In fact, everybody's fully healed right now, other than Chester, but Chester can't be fully healed as it stands right now. Um, you have centaur movement. I need to think about this, so. Phone. I have Pokemon Go running on my phone in the sidelines right now. Uh, because I'm basically going to be playing this until it's close for me to leave for the Pogo event. Uh, let's see. So, I've got two creatures up here that are moving down toward me. And nobody else is moving toward me right now. So I think I want to set up formation down here. So in that case, I'm going to move over here. How far down is actually fine for now. You're going to attack Sarah. Not who I was expecting. Ow! Okay, no double attack at least. Time to go after. This is going to be rough. Go ahead and heal. Not only is it good XP for Kiwi, but also, well, uh, this is a Nuzlocke. I'm kind of scared about losing characters, so I'm being even more properly paranoid than normal. Alright, you can't reach me next turn anyway, so I'm just going to wrap around. Alright, six is not enough damage. I think I might have a problem. Let's see. Blaze 2 or Freeze 1. I think Freeze 1's going to do more damage. I don't want to kill the goblin, I just want to maim the goblin. Yep. That was about how much I remembered. Okay. All I need to do is have somebody else go, dang it. Well, that's not that big of a deal, I suppose. Sarah's level 9. I would prefer Slater Kazin to be the one to take that one out, but... Uh, I don't want to risk it. I mean, they're all underleveled anyway. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. We're gonna go hide in the forest. gonna move out of it. We're gonna, yep, that's what I thought you would do. Good. Okay, so you're protected. You're gonna heal Sarah. This is also how I normally end up working, is that I'm constantly healing with my healers, because um, the way I play would probably be nicknamed Healer Force 2 instead of Archer Force 2, because healers rock. Do I want to taunt the Happy Fun Ball right now? Uh, I think it would be better for me not to taunt the Happy Fun Ball this turn. They're going to move out and away from the terrain effect, so yeah, I'd rather not. You're going to go back into terrain. Sarah is going to be the one that I'm taunting with. I think you can reach me there. So what I'm trying to do is lure the um, goblin out. Ah, poop. Ah. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. I thought there was one fear of movement square. Uh, what I was trying to do was lure the goblin out to attack Sarah here. Alright, yes, yes, soon, I know. I'm not paying attention to you, how dare I. 
goblin, I should be able to make short work of, and then I can choose whether I egress or not. The problem is that they're the ones softening him up due to the turn order. Um... On the plus side, Kazin will be the one finishing him off, unless if they dodge... Nope. Okay. <sighs> so freaking many messages. Okay, Kazin's level 9. That's good. Attack and defense. Couldn't have asked for a better level up. Kiwi, go ahead and heal Kazin. And now, do I want to egress? I'm kind of leaning toward yes, because Kiwi only has two more heals left in her. MP, attack, agility, heal two! Okay, yeah, I'm going to egress. So, I could get two more heals off of Kiwi. Hmm, pardon me. Yes, yes, in. Meow. You want to be on my lap? Let me scoop back slightly. This in really doesn't like being on my lap while I'm on my computer chair. Um... Anyway, so I think I'm going to cheese this a little bit. I've got one person. Oh, yeah. So I think I'm going to cheese this a little bit and let Kiwi get two more heals off. And see if I can get movement from others. I don't think I'm going to, but. I think Chester ended up being the HP healer. Or the attack healer? I'm still not sure on that. That's so soon I know. Hmm, looks like I'm attracting that goblin. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Well, let's see if I can move them out. I wouldn't mind getting off one more goblin to fight. Yep, I've attracted those two. Interesting. I was not expecting this. Oh, this might not be so great. I mean, I could just start fighting right there, but it's not worth it. Exactly there, actually. I'm concerned. I think I can just egress. Hey soon. Silly kitty. Hey soon's on my lap at the moment. See? The problem is that I am using wired headphones for this. Mostly because, uh, well, I don't have a Bluetooth adapter on my headphones. Yep. Go thyself then escape. I'm going to go into the grass. New kitty cat are going to get pet. And egress. Bowie's getting MP faster than normal. I wonder if Bowie actually has another spell coming up. Anyway, go ahead and save again. Yes. Let's save state. I think I normally save state at the end of each of these. I've been playing for 25 minutes already, dang. This is probably going to be a longer one because all it is going to be is grinding, I think. I'm thinking one more run through at least. Let's shove you back in the mountains again. Forest. Welp. 
was not expecting to get hit that early. I my memory is terrible. Fife goes stabity stab. Okay, Fife's leveled up. That's good. Chester. Shoot him. I could have moved to a different spot, that would have made more sense. Kill? Uh, that's right on the edge. I don't think he's gonna be able to kill him. Oh! Ah, because I crit. Nice. Level up. HP, attack, defense, agility. Good level up. Okay. Kiwi. Your job is to heal because that hurt. So Kiwi at this point in the game will heal 15. So pretty much a full heal off of almost my entire party right now. Okay, well, baited one of them out, that's for sure. Um, just going to hide you in the back line. My housemate's coming downstairs. The ooze is going to move next to attack. Yeah, ooze can't reach you. That's fine. I think I would rather the use not be able to reach yet. I'm gonna move Sarah down here, because Sarah is my target. Jaha, you're gonna stay in the forest a bit. I've taunted the people up above. That's not so great. That's also not within range. Well, I'm just gonna move right again. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't want to move there. Uh, this might be bad. I'm really not in a great position with this party in this battle. This battle is particularly nasty. Uh, I don't want to bury Kazin that far back, but I don't have a choice. I don't want an archer being attacked by that ooze. Okay. Baited. I'm pretty sure I would get hit. Besides, I don't get terrain effect anyway. I might as well take the front position. But we leveled up to 10. HP, attack, agility by 2. Nice. Alright. I want to say they're weak against Freeze specifically. So I'm gonna blaze one. Because I don't want it dead by Jaha. Jaha's my highest level character right now. And I'm not going to take it from the thief. Okay, everybody else is level nine at this point, right? Everybody else is level 9. Okay. So, you would be fine. I don't think you're going to get hit. Probably should have gone under to make sure I don't get hit by the uh, under goblin up above. Because I think I might be in range. Barely. Okay. Now I'm in range, but last turn I was not. So, the way the AI works is that it will usually move 2 unless if it has a specific target. So, at this point, this Hunter Goblin can definitely go there, if not there. See, the trick to all of this is to not bite off more than you can chew. And at this point, this party can only chew like one or two creatures at once. Dang it. I didn't think he had that much movement. Okay, I'm fine though. Kazin's gonna be attacked by the Hunter Goblin, though. That's the only downside. And it's in forest, too. I was really hoping not to do that. Okay. The goblin's not gonna be the problem. So I'm actually gonna finish off the Goblin fast, because I need to worry about that archer. Okay. 10 is the correct level. So, 
You'll notice that the amount of XP will be reduced over time as the higher level you are, which kind of makes sense. And in this case, Sarah being level 10, killing off that goblin didn't get 49 XP, she got 38 XP. Uh, 38 XP means that she is probably the correct level for this, so 10 is probably the level I want to aim for. So I don't want to risk Slade having a turn. Or, Slade not having a turn. Because that Hunter Goblin would ruin my day. Oh, well. Didn't seem to matter anyway. Yep. Got he mage. Luckily, Jaha is actually not that bad in Forest right now. Alright. Getting up on the Hunter Goblin. Next Goblin on deck is up there. We should be fine. Those regular Goblins move slow. Ooh, nice crit. Good job, Chester. So at one point I actually figured out what the damage formula was for this game, and I don't remember it anymore. As in, how much XP you gain for the damage. It's based off of how much damage you do, which is the reason why instant death spells give you less XP than normal. And there's a maximum of 48 asterisk, uh, 49 asterisk. The reason why I say asterisk is that you can actually get more XP if you hit multiple creatures and kill them. But it's really rare. Um, nobody else is injured, are they? Uh, there's no way of getting like hit points per character easily. Jaha's injured. worth it. I've got four more heals left on Kiwi. Which is fine. But we can finish off the Hunter Goblin. 49 XP? Yep. So Hunter Goblin's the higher level Goblin. Which makes sense. It has a higher attack. Uh, keep you there you up there, because you're going to be my lore again. So, the way the AI works, as far as I can tell, is that each creature has a zone in which they will wake up in. Um, that zone seems to be configured per creature, not per class, so it's not like, hey, look, you've moved X squares away, I'm going to move. Uh, it seems to be specific for each map. And I know now that here will trigger that Hunter Goblin how far away that Hunter Goblin is compared to this location. It also woke up to this regular Goblin. Move up there. And we're gonna move back behind Sarah. Alright. So you can stay there. Kiwi, get back. So my goal at the end of this battle is to basically be level 10 for everybody. There's probably fine. Okay, I know Sarah's within range. And that's fine. I'm gonna move here. So you can stay there. So I have tempted to heal Sarah, but I'm not I can't easily get in range without causing problems. And I've woken up the Hunter Goblin! I didn't move closer. What the heck? Okay, Sarah got hit by seven. It's sad when I'm using a thief as a tank. <sighs> yeah, both of those goblins have now triggered, even though I haven't moved any closer. In fact, I haven't moved to any spot I wasn't already on. So maybe their trigger is actually up here for some reason? I don't know. Jester, bonk. See, now that the gob- oh, two attacks! Nice! I approve, Jester. A+. plus. Yes, level up, please. Uh, no defense, but at least you increased attack, that's kind of more important. Zin, are you going to reach level 10 now? Yes, you are. HP by 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. That's a very nice level up. So I should probably talk about how uh, Shining Force 2 levels 
work. So what it is is that the game actually has in its code the stats at level and uh, that's when you gain the character and the stats at level 20 or 30. I don't remember which now. And what it is is that the game will randomly give out stats based off of your proximity to your final goal stat. So you could do Chronomancy to manipulate your level ups, except that you're going to get crappy level ups closer to level 20, because that's the way the game works. Um, I need to expect attacks in this direction now, which means Bowie, you're flying back. Um, anyway, so as a result, you don't really level differently, as much as it may look like you do. There's no random leveling. However, in this case, since I have no idea what their level 20 stats are, it's random enough to me. Uh, there's only one person who knows, and that's the person who edited everything for me. And he might not remember anymore. It's been over a year since I've played this, after all. I'll have to ask Rex later. Ranger, get back. Archer, get back. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to lure them through that little... Oh, you can't see where I'm playing. Derp. Um, moment, I can make this work. Capture cursor. So. What I am trying to do is get them through this area over here. So. This area. Uh, the reason being is that this area all has terrain effect of 0%. The forests do not. So what I'm trying to do, you'll notice that I'm more than two squares away from the forest, so even if the archer came through, they would actually have to move over to this line. And eventually, um, these two characters will end up moving further back. By the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but I enabled scan lines. Uh, I'm normally not a fan of scan lines. Let me remove the mouse again. I'm normally not a fan of scan lines, but for some reason, this set of scan lines at such a low percentage that I have actually looks really nice. You actually need to stay there because you're not an elf, so you don't. You have penalties for moving in the forest. Um, so the base race of various creatures, which in this case, because I'm playing a randomized Nuzlocke, the base race is actually affected by your class. But the base race of each of the creatures actually dictates how they move. It's a really interesting way of handling things in my mind. Okay, so I should be protected now because everybody except for Kazin is in a forest, and Kazin is actually far enough away where that's not as big of a deal. I can keep track of their movements. So at this point, Sarah is still the closest position. So one, two, three, four, five, six squares away, and I believe they have four movement, was that? Five movement. One, two, three, four, five. So this is as close as that goblin can get. I'm actually thinking about having Sarah moving forward one, just so I can trigger before this dick comes by. Yep, I'm gonna do that. I'll actually let the goblin attack Sarah. Oh, this would be a great time to actually have the boost spell, but I don't have it. Because that's what I'm afraid of. If I waited an extra turn, that means that I'm fighting both of these goobers at the same time, and I don't want to do that. Goblin rushes out to attack Sarah. Sarah hits seven. Sarah should also be able to survive a hit from the. Let's see, that's 26 attack. 24 attack, yeah. Sarah can survive an attack from this person. I don't know if I want my bird brain all the way out there. Five movement. One, two, three, four, five. Basically can attack anybody. Yep, I might as well do this. Let's get damage on the goblin. It's only seven though, because it's terrain effect. Uh, 
was just, if I had Freeze 2, that would work. Because Freeze 2, if I remember right, actually has a longer range than Blaze 2 for reasons. Let's go ahead and Blaze 2. Well, it does 9? I could Freeze 2 for the same amount of damage. Or Freeze 1 for the same amount of damage. Good to know. Closer to the goblin. Not that one. Okay. So, that's fine. Slade finishing off and hopefully leveling up to 10, because that's kind of what I need right now. Yep. HP 2, increase attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. So they must have been lower stat than normal. Uh, I'm gonna have to use another heal too, but I can't risk that. That's well, I probably could actually. Ah, uh, let's risk it. I don't want to waste that much magic. Oh, uh, this was probably a bad idea, wasn't it? Please don't die! Please don't die! Please don't die! Please don't die! Only one attack! Only one attack! <sighs> okay, I'm fine. Go ahead and pick off this goblin. We're pretty much in Kiwi territory at this point, aren't you? But let's finish him off. I can heal to level up healers. Oh, dodge attack. Okay. Don't get double move. Okay. So Bowie's start of round. Bowie must have the highest agility in yeah, 21. So Bowie knit happens early. I will go ahead and finish him off with Bowie because everybody's level 10 other than Kiwi at this point, so that should be fine. Bowie levels up. HP, attack, agility. That's fine. I prefer defense because bird brains are really weak on defense. Okay. So. This is where we were at before we started grinding. We are now all level 10. I could just stop here and, oops, not mean to do that. I could just egress at this point and just deal with it, but I'm kind of thinking I can finish this battle off. I'm not that badly wounded. Um, I've got two more heals. Well, I've got three more heals, but I'm gonna be using one of them on Sarah. Um, I've got two more heals beyond healing up Sarah. And I think if I go the lower path, I should be able to do this in good order, maybe. No. I think I level path the higher path. Let me take a look at the map again really fast. Sarah's fully healed. That's good. Here we got full 17. Nice. 17 is the highest you can get for a single healing spell. Okay. So if I go this route, I'm going to deal with two ranged attackers at the same time. This witch has five movement? Six movement. So this witch is fast. I almost think I should actually go the northern route. Even though that's going to suck for Jester. Yeah, let's go northern route. So I'm just going to reposition myself in the forest north. What I'm going to try to do is just lure her. That's not going to be easy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to deal with both at once, and that could be very lethal because she'll deal 9 and he'll deal 7. So that's 16 damage onto a target. What, Sarah and Bowie are the only ones who could survive that? And Bowie might not survive that. I think I'll be fine. So I'm going to have Bowie be my tank in this case. Sarah will be backup tank. They're just idle moving at this point. Oops, wrong button. This keyboard's weird. It's a um, it's a mechanical keyboard with red switches, which I'm not a huge fan of reds. I definitely prefer blues, which are much more clacky. Not that great for a live stream like this, but it's what I prefer. Okay, let's take a look. I need to pay more attention to what their movement radius is. But for now. I don't want him to trigger yet, so I'm just gonna fly Bowie into a mountain. Okay, 
Sarah will be forward position for the time being. Yeah, you see what Chester's movement rate is like? I can move two. That's the problem with centaurs. They're great on open terrain and horrible in forest and mountains. Which, if you were a horse, you would also be horrible in forest and mountains, so that kind of makes sense. Huh, he has the same movement problem. That's weird. That's not supposed to happen. Okay. Now Bowie's lead. Go twice in a row. That's not cool. So formation style moving is what I end up doing for a good chunk of the game, because this game doesn't allow you to... So, hold on a moment. Uh, I'll have to wait until it's Jaha's turn. Um, I'm just going to move one in this case. So, I don't know if I can even show it to you. No, it won't let me. So you can only target opponents with spells. So even area of effect spells, you can only target an opponent. So moving around where everybody's on a diagonal means that you can't be affected by an... And you can't have two people being affected by an area of effect attack. At least until you get the surprise, by the way, there's areas of effect larger than this. Which does come up. Last thing I want is Kiwi. Please move forward. Ah, crap, I bit off three. This might be a problem. I mean, the goblin itself isn't that big of a deal. It's melee attacker. I'm more concerned that I won't be able to kill these two fast enough. I do have terrain effect on my side, at least, but that's not saying much. Ah, I have messed up the plan already. I should be targetable by her there. Uh, my honest Kazin might actually be targetable by her. And poor Chester's lost in the woods. Yep. Going after Sarah anyway. That's probably fine, actually. Sarah can take a hit. That's okay. Kazin can attack. battle just gets on my nerves. Mm, shut up. Go ahead and heal Sarah. I only have one healing spell left, but that's fine. I'm attacking Bowie. Okay. They're at least attacking different targets, even if Bowie is not the one I wanted to have an archer. Shut up, phone! Not disturb. Okay. <sighs> okay, need to think. That witch is going to go again. And I'm not in lethal range for the witch. I am in lethal range of the archer though. If I move there and attack the witch, I won't get hit by the witch, most likely. I mean, it's possible, but... My concern is getting hit by both of them, basically. That's what I'm trying to figure out, is if I need to have Bowie just fly away. And I kind of think I do need to have Bowie just fly away. So if I move there, I can't be targeted by the witch or the archer. And I'm still in range to be able to help out. But I can't heal without using one of my own healing items. <sighs> that should heal 11. That's probably okay, actually. It's only at 25. <sighs> Am I gonna do enough damage fast enough is the problem. So, this goblin is moving two. One, two. I think being cautious makes more sense in this case. It's probably a mistake. Speaking of mistakes... Hi! 
about time I finally get to use Blaze 2 in the correct way. 10 there, and 10 there. Got our levels up. And P plus 2, new spell? No. I probably have a while before Jaha's next spell anyway. Okay, Sarah can be a target, so I'm okay with Sarah stabbing the goblin in the face. Um, not doing enough damage is the problem. Oh, this is a bad idea, isn't it? Oh, I, I killed the goblin. Okay, this is no longer a bad idea. It's still probably not the greatest of ideas because... Oh, you're just attacking Sarah. That's fine. That's less fine. Sarah counterattacks and kills. Sarah levels up. Okay, this might not be good. We have 13 defense. Sarah has 16. Sarah is still better equipped to deal with the goblin. This is my best move. It's possible the goblin can reach Kazin and Chester, but if they can, then I can't do anything about that anyway. Uh, is there anybody even hurt right now? No. Kiwi, I am actually going to have you heal. to get more XP on you. Also, I'm a little concerned about Chester standing there. I might need that hit point. And it was Kazin. I'm fine. I'm more concerned about that ooze at this point, and the ooze hasn't activated. Alright, so let's take out this goblin. Yeah, but he's not going to get much XP from the goblin. Jaha will back off, freeze. That has a chance of killing. It says 9 to 10. 9. That's fine. I would actually prefer that. Once I finish this battle, I will have access to healing again. Or, to buying things again. Goblin. I would have preferred Kiwi to be the one to finish off the Goblin, but that wasn't going to happen. I was surrounding. Okay, I have two enemies left. That ooze and... Is there another Goblin? Uh, do I seriously only have that ooze left? Yeah, I only have that ooze left. This is doable! Yay! Kiwi, you still need to be protected, but I want you to thwack something so you can level up to 10. Having healers too low of a level is dangerous in this game. off with Kiwi. That sounds like a decent plan. So, here's what I'm going to do. Stay. 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 Whack. I think I can do two damage. Yep. Well, I crit for six. That's fine. There we go, and Kiwi's level ten. Kiwi by two. Good. No spell. Okay. Well, I have finished this battle. About time. 
I've nearly hit an hour. I only had to go one egress for grinding. That's not that bad. I was a bit low level, and um, the game kind of expects you to egress to grind. So you can't just go through battle by battle by battle and try to optimize your XP as much as possible. You will be too low level. Uh, so this is the reason why I'm doing things this way. I wonder what it's going to look like when the characters come out. So basically the plot is that there was a tunnel that went to North Paramecia there, but it's now blocked by a rock slide. I guess you don't actually know it's to North Paramecia, but you're in South Paramecia, so a tunnel going north kind of indicates that it's going north. Alright, now we're heading back to the ship, except while you were gone, dun, dun, dun. oh, hey look, the ship is disappearing! Bloop, bloop, bloop. Look at that, Bowie! They finished breaking apart the ship! And you look down and, hey look, they're building a town right before your very eyes. Hey look, there's our new town. It happened in like 15 seconds. You know, that's the way towns get built, right? Yeah, original Grand Seal was a lot more beautiful. But that's okay, this town has more trees. They worked hard to build their new town. One year has passed, so... This is where there's a time skip, and because of this time skip, Bowie is a year older compared to uh, the princess. That becomes a strange plot point later, because somehow it has more than a year. So, you can tell from this screenshot that Kiwi's not in the screenshot, because you don't necessarily have Kiwi, since he's technically a hidden character. You're the soldiers of Grand Seal! Yep, so the party are now actually the official army of Grand Seal. It's a really tiny army. Do your best to improve our new home. Grand Seal! So, the king is very distressed. And it's understandable. He's lost his daughter for the past year. I have nothing to say. Oh, uh, it's okay. He's old anyway. <laughs> okay, I got it. One year has passed since we came here. The castle, the town, everything is coming along nicely. So, Sir Astral is actually an ice mage, for reference. But we lack something. What is it? Trade! So, this is where the game gets a little more open. So, every other Shining Force game, I don't know about three because I haven't played enough of it, uh, but every other Shining Force game is very linear. And to be fair, this game is also linear. This is less non-linear than, say, FFT. But this, at this point of the game, you actually have options. Uh, and also, there's random battles. Uh, it's something that you don't realize. Yo, this is still alive. Bowie, please prepare a ship for me. Because, you know, we totally have ships. I would like to go back to Grand's to find her. Okay, boy. These young men guard our new town. Yes, mithril can't be cut. Never mind the fact that later on you make things out of mithril, which means it had to have been cut. Anyway. The king looks so sad. Oh, excuse me, I'm tired because of the minister. I mean, Sir Ash will talk late at every night. I still think they're having sex with each other, but whatever. So, now I get to investigate the castle. However, up here... ...is actually not the castle. So, the well, technically it's still part of the castle, but... Um, ...you actually get to see each of your characters in this area. All of them, not just the ones that are in your party. And you get to talk to them. I'm just looting, because I don't remember if there's any loot in here. I don't think there is. So the characters who are out of your party are, which at the moment you aren't even at party max size, so the characters who are out of your party are the ones that are loafing around outside. Everybody else is standing in their formation. 
That's what was there. I should have left that there. Because I can come back here at any time, and I have precious little inventory space. Uh, Warrior Pride is a promotion item, which I don't even know if I'm going to have any warriors, because I still don't have any. Yes, Chester. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, you don't look like Slater. Anyway, you talk to your active party members. They all say the same things. I mean, if they're an active party member, they will always say that exact same thing throughout the entire game. If they're an inactive party member, they will always say that exact same type of thing throughout the game. It's... well... This isn't that complicated of a game, let's be honest here. Uh, the only... characters I could theoretically promote would be archers. I mean, I can't promote right now, anyway, because I'm too low of a level. Cheerful Bread! That's for hit points, if I remember correctly. Which, if I find a monster, or ta tort, the book on Dark Soul, who's the boss of the Shining previous game, Shining Force 1. Um, hint book. You can't read it, though. That must be Sir Ashel's room, because wasn't that in his previous room? Anyway. Um... Yeah, I'm basically going to run this until the next battle, so this is going to be a fairly long episode. Well, uh, maybe I should actually end it at the end of the castle. That's not that bad of an idea. So let's go ahead and end it here. I will go ahead and make the save state. And I'm going to continue playing, so I'm just going to immediately go into the next stream. Um, but these are going to be uploaded on different days. Uh, I do... Maybe I should just stop here. Um, let me think. Community day starts at 1. Nah, I'll keep going. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and good getting the internet. I'll see you tomorrow.